Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and on this channel I film fashion, lifestyle, and home decor videos. If you're joining me from my vlogging channel, Danny Hamayan, welcome back and thank you so much for sticking around. For today's video, I'm excited to share with you my morning skincare routine. Now this is a routine that I have kind of honed over the years and I used to have really, really horrible acne until I made an appointment with my dermatologist about a year ago to really get something that was stronger and could help my skin. I'll show you what my skin used to look like right Right here. My acne was cystic and I used to use Accutane in my early 20s but after I finished my treatment my acne came back and Accutane long term is not necessarily a good idea so I had to kind of find different ways and it's taken years because early 20s. I'm 31 now. I started a treatment of benzoyl peroxide and clindamycin in the morning and in the evening I use my retinoid called a cleave. Some days call for makeup and that is quite all right but I truly truly feel that the key to good makeup is good skin and so taking care of what's underneath all of that instead of covering up is really really important and having a routine that works for you that is uncomplicated I personally think is key so I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I use and I'm going to be walking you through my skincare routine it is morning time it is just after 10 a.m. and I haven't done my skincare yet so I thought I would film it with you guys and show you what I do so the first thing that I usually do is I cleanse my skin and right now I'm really loving the La Mer cleansing foam I get my hands wet and then I make a dime sized amount rub it into my skin and at this point, I usually cleanse for about 30 seconds. And then I pat dry with a clean towel. Next up, I tone my skin and currently I am loving the Barbara Sturm Balancing Toner. This toner is super pricey, but I love it so much. It's been really, really good for my skin. And I usually just use this as kind of like a toning lotion. So I do one or two pumps in the palm of my hands. I rub them together and then I just press it into my skin. I like it this way and also it really just kind of helps your skin to absorb all of the product instead of just like rubbing your skin and further irritating it even more. So I just pat the toner into my skin and I let it sit and I let it absorb until my face is fully dry again and then I move on to the next step. At this point is when I would usually put on a little bit of lip balm just to keep my lips moisturized. I have super dry skin and so even though this is a sleeping mask, I use it as a daily lip balm as well. It is the Laneige Sleeping Care Sleeping Mask and I love this so much. I even have like little mini ones but this thing is really good. So the next thing that I do is I go under the eyes and right now I'm really loving the Origins Ginseng Brightening Eye Cream. I've been using this for a few months now and I love it a lot. You really don't need a lot under the eyes. And I use my ring finger and I just rub it in. The other thing that's super important to your skincare is getting enough sleep and that is something I'm still working on but I have a four-year-old who wakes up at 6 a.m. so that never usually happens. So the next thing that I usually do is I go in with my topical gel. This was prescribed by my doctor. It is the Benzaclin and it is a combo of benzoyl peroxide and clindamycin. This stuff is really good. It really, really works. This is 1% clindamycin with 5% benzoyl peroxide. It is very, very strong. Always make sure that you wear sunscreen when you wear products like this on your skin because you really need to protect your skin. The benzoyl peroxide really makes your skin feel kind of raw and so sunscreen really helps to, um, to alleviate that. So I don't use a lot. I'd say I use maybe a pea size amount, like this much and I just rub it all over my face. And I also take care to avoid the eye area because that skin is really thin and sensitive. And so I never usually try to go around there, which is why I use my eye cream beforehand to protect that area of my skin. 
So all of that is applied. And then the next thing that I go in with is my moisturizer. And I'm using the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I received a sample of this in my Sephora order once and I loved it so much that I just went out and purchased the full size item. So I'm using that much on the applicator and I'm gonna make sure that my skin is very, very well hydrated. So I usually go a bit overboard with the moisturizer just to ensure that I am well moisturized. And I love this too because it also has hyaluronic acid, which really helps the skin to maintain and trap moisture, which I find is also super important in the winter months. Um, because it's so cold outside, your skin is losing moisture a bit more. And so having a cream with hyaluronic acid really helps to kind of keep that into the skin and it keeps your skin moisturized longer. Any excess, I usually rub on the back of my hands just to kind of keep those moisturized as well. Any excess, I usually just rub into my neck as well. And I do this in an upward motion just to make sure that you're just pulling the skin upwards and the opposite direction of gravity. And finally, since it is daytime and I'm not going to be wearing makeup today, I'm going to be using my Supergoop Glow Screen. This is my third Supergoop product. Um, I have used their Unseen, which is a silicone-based, almost like clear one. And then I also have Play, which I really like. The Glow Screen really kind of took me by surprise because it is a tinted sunscreen. And so you really want to make sure that you rub this in and at first I thought it was a white cast but it's really just a glow and so I do the three finger rule where I put it aligns on three fingers and then I rub it into my skin. Alright, and we are all done. I truly hope that you loved this video and I hope that you found it inspirational and helpful. If there's something that you found that you want to start adding to your routine, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what your tried and true skincare product is, something that you absolutely cannot live without. For me, it's sunscreen. Ever since I've added it to my routine, my skin has made a complete 180. It is so different now and I just, I can't believe I was doing my skincare without it this entire time. I absolutely love it and I don't think I could ever, ever, ever do without it ever again, which is why now I'm starting to hoard sunscreen. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.